I think it's important to recognize Hispanic heritage all year round, <laughs> right? But especially in a month like this because it brings out more knowledge on what being Hispanic is to others who are not members of the community. Listening to my grandparents, listen to all them tell their stories about how they came to be in this country. Some were here because they came across the border, others were born here, they never left, and how they've integrated themselves into a society that at times has been difficult, but other times has fully embraced them. I probably have close to 50 cousins on both sides of my family. We are very close. My parents migrated from Mexico. On my mom's side, I'm third generation. On my dad's side, I'm first generation. For kids that are young and new, either first generation, second generation, and not knowing much about their culture, I think it's important to be able to get out and see and be a part of the community. My culture in particular, I'm from the Dominican Republic. I emigrated to the United States when I was around 12 years old. And a lot of people don't know where Dominican Republic is or don't know much about my culture. So I absolutely love opening up the conversation and educating others about who I am. I love just traditions of making food and sharing the food, making tamales, making tortillas. Yeah, I try to make it as many festivals as I can. Anything that happens like around the area 21st and Broadway, that is almost always really good food, really good people, a lot of entertainment, and really good conversation. The north side of Wichita has a lot of restaurants there that make me feel at home. A lot of important foods there, either like chilrenos or authentic tortas, um, enchiladas, and things like that. We definitely like to get together and cook a lot of food and dance. We're very proud people, but we're also helpful people, and that makes me very proud of my heritage.